Joined by the Russian ambassador to India, Mr. Ambassador, thanks for joining us. We're seeing increasing hostilities between India and Pakistan ever since the attack in Uri took place. Today, there has been an attack on a BSF camp where we lost one of our men. What do you feel about the present situation? Well, Russia has very clearly expressed its attitude in two statements by the foreign ministry after the Uri attack. It was plainly mentioned, the only country which did so in plain words, that the uh, terrorists uh, and those bandits came from Pakistan, from Pakistan territory. And in the second statement, we have called upon the government of Pakistan to take all necessary steps to stop this menace of transborder terrorism on its territory that we said openly, that is what we feel. Of course, we have always been together with India in uh, uh, opposing and fighting cross-border terrorism, and we stand for uh, the government there to take steps. So Pakistan has been talking about human rights violations in Jammu and Kashmir. They've been trying to get international attention for it. Uh, but do you feel they need to do a lot more when it comes to terror groups on their soil, like the jesh e Mohammed, like you Lashkar know, the Toyba? Greatest, the greatest uh, human rights violation takes place when these bands, these uh, gangs of terrorists uh, come and attack uh, either military targets in India or peaceful, uh, peaceful population in villages. That is the worst form of human attack, uh, of human rights abuse. Do you think India was justified, sir, in carrying out that surgical strike? Otherwise, we would not have welcomed it. That's a strong message because India is being pushed into a corner by Pakistan over and over again. We've seen repeated uh, attacks from their soil. Well, as I have said, we are against mm, terrorist attacks uh, across the border against India. Uh, and, uh, well, that is one uh, thing we, 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 we are against. And we, have op we are openly saying about this to the Pakistanis. And India, sir, has full right to retaliate if there is continuous cross-border infiltration? Well, any country has to defend itself from such kind of trans-border terrorism. And my last question, sir. We saw a military exercise between uh, Russia and Pakistan. Uh, India had raised concerns about that. And the Russian government says this is not happening in POK. But those exercises happened. Isn't that a concern for India? How would you address that? India should not be concerned at all because, you know, it's a normal practice among states to have military exercises, especially among, uh, between the militaries of the two countries. Well, and the theme of the exercise is anti-terror fight. That is, I think it is in India's interest that uh, we, we, we will be teaching uh, Pakistani army how not to use army for the terror attacks. So I think that is in the interest of India. And uh, more than that, there was much speculation in the press here. The exercise was not held in any of the sensitive or uh, problematic territories of uh, like uh, Gilgit, Bal Baltistan, or of course not in the Pakistan occupied uh, Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir.